Hello, my YouTube family. My name is Dr. Lee, so welcome back to my channel. If you like what you see today, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Today, I want to talk about catheter care um, according to Prometrics guidelines. <clears throat> so we will be demonstrating it. When you do catheter care for your nurse aide state exam, you will be doing it on a mannequin. I'm going to go ahead on and start the demonstration now. So I'm gonna exit out and come in through the patient's door. Hello. Hello, Miss Mary. My name is Dr. Lee. How are you doing today? I'm here to provide catheter care for you. So I'm going to close the curtain, wash my hands, get my supplies, and I'll be right back, okay? All right, so with Prometrics, you are required to know when to wash your hands during your skills. You should wash your hands at the beginning of your skill and at the end of your skill. Anytime you remove gloves, you need to wash your hands. If the evaluator has told you that you can assimilate washing hands, you do not have to physically go over to the sink and wash your hands. You can just say, I wash my hands. So for this skill of catheter care, we're going to assume the evaluator has told me that I can assimilate hand washing. So I wash my hands. Now that my hands are clean, I'm going to gather my supplies for this skill. So for my supplies, I will need a pair of gloves, four washcloths, and I have three uh, bath towels. I'm gonna to take one of the bath towels and put on the table to act as a barrier so that I keep the patient's bedside table clean. I'm gonna put the other two bath towels here, my gloves, and I have four washcloths. I also need a bath basin with my soap in it and a um, bath blanket so that the patient can stay warm. And I'm gonna be getting these supplies from the patient's cabinet that's located in the room. I just put the bath blanket on the bed, put my lotion here, Miss Mary, I'm gonna go and get some water to put in the bath basin, I'll be right back. If you notice, I am continually talking to the mannequin. This will be graded under indirect care. The evaluator will be grading you to determine if you're gonna be talking to the patient or not. So whether it's a live patient or if it is the mannequin, you still have to communicate and let this patient know what you will be doing. I'm going to go to the sink now to put water in my basin. I had already cleaned my hands, so I'm not gonna turn the faucet on with my clean hands. I will get a paper towel to turn the uh, water faucet on. These will go in the trash. Now I'm gonna get about a fourth um, of a basin full of water. While the water is running, I'm going to test the water to make sure that it feels comfortable to me. And when I take the basin over to the patient, I'll have the patient test the water. So I'm gonna put one little finger in. Feels comfortable. I'll get a paper towel to dry my finger. I'm also gonna get a paper towel to turn the water off. Remember my hands are clean, so I don't wanna to directly touch the water hand, uh, faucet handle. Okay. I'm bringing an extra paper towel. This is not required. This is just something that I do so that when the patient tests the water, the patient is able to dry his or her hands. 
Miss Mary. Hi, I'm back. I have some water here. I'm, I'm going to get you to test it to make sure that it's comfortable for you. But before I do that, I'm going to put my gloves on. Okay. Can you test the water to let me know if it's comfortable for you? Okay, how's that? It's pretty good. I have a paper towel that you can use to dry your fingers with. Great. The paper towel I'm just going to put over here and I'll put it up at the end. Now, I'm going to take my four towels and just put it into the bucket of water. So it's one, two, three, four. And while the towels are getting wet, saturated with the water, I'm gonna go ahead on and put this privacy blanket all over my patient. Miss Mary, we're gonna put this blanket over you so that you can stay warm while we're doing the catheter care. Okay, are you comfortable? Okay, let's bring that up just a little bit. Okay, before we get started, Miss Mary, I need to put a linen protector up under your buttocks. What I'm using for a linen protector is just a bath towel. I'm gonna to fold it in half. And when I put it under the patient, I have to make sure that both buttocks is on top of this linen protector. The linen protector is in place so that as I'm cleaning the patient and I'm using water, I don't get the patient's uh, bottom sheet wet. We know that if the sheet gets wet, we have to change the linen because we do not leave patient lying on something that is wet. So I'm gonna roll this inward toward me and bring this towards the patient. And I like to, instead of turning the patient to the side, I'm just going to ask the patient to bend their knees and raise their hips so that I can spread this linen protector up under the patient. So Miss Mary, if you can please bend your knees and raise your hip, we can get this protector up under you. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Good job. Great. Almost got it there. I'm just going to take a little peek on the other side to make sure that we are under and I don't know if you can see that, but we have the towel up under her and she's laying on the towel. Now that I have that done, I'm ready to take the top sheet and bring it down to the knees and I will take the blanket and bring up to the uh, pelvic area. Miss Mary, thank you so much for working with me. I'm going to take your top sheet and bring it down to your knees and I'm going to bring the bath blanket up to your pelvic area so that we can start the procedure, okay? I'm going to just reach up under here. We're gonna leave you covered. We want you to stay warm, okay? Bring this down. Great. And I wanna bring it down the top sheet to about the patient's knees and I can stop. The bath blanket and the patient's hospital gown, I will bring up to the pubic area, okay? Just like this. Now I have exposed only the area that I'm going to be working in, all right? So I start with the catheter. I'm going to take a wet cloth and I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. Now I'm going to fold it in half again. This gives me four areas of the washcloth that I can use to clean the catheter. Prometric does not list how many times the organization wants us to clean the catheter when we're being tested on this skill. I'm gonna do it twice, but I have 
part of the cloth I can use, a second part of the cloth I can use, a third part of the cloth, a fourth part here, and I can also use the outer side if I want to as a fifth part of the cloth, okay? I'm going to put soap on the towel, washcloth, and just kind of rub it in real good. Make sure it gets through and I can see soap on both sides of the towel. So I know that it's saturated through the towel. Now, the next key part of catheter care is deciding where to put your hand. Where do you hold uh, at on the catheter? This part of my hand, I like to put right on the uh, that pubic area. And I'll take my thumb and index finger and go between the labia and hold that catheter right at the opening where it's coming out of the body. The opening where the catheter goes in, or you can say where the catheter is coming out, that opening is called the meatus. And the evaluator will be looking to see if we are pulling on the catheter where our hand is placed. Our, your hand placement, your fingers, should be right at the meatus to hold that catheter in place so that it does not pull on the person. Inside of your patient, there is a bulb that is in the bladder to hold the catheter in place. Okay, so it's important that we don't pull on it. So this part of my hand, I'm gonna put right here on the pubic area. Thumb and index finger is gonna go between the labias, right next to that opening and pinch down on the catheter. Once I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the top part of my towel, Miss Mary, and we're gonna be wiping out about three to four inches. Very gently without pulling. Okay, that's the first part. I'm going to open it so that now I can get another area of the cloth and I can do the same thing again, wiping away from the body. Hand placement, fingers between the labias next to the opening, and I'm going to wipe out. Now I have washed the catheter. I'm gonna take this towel, put over to the side. Next one, I'm going to rinse, and I'm gonna follow the same procedure. I'm gonna fold my towel in half, put my hand placement, get my fingers between the labias and hold right at the meatus. I'm going to wipe away from the body one time and a second time. All right, put this towel over. Next, I need to clean the, um, between the labias, the outer area and both groins. I'm gonna get more soap on a new towel. I'm gonna rub that in. And this time I'm gonna use all five areas of my washcloth. One, two, three, four, and then the back. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go straight down the middle between the labias. Miss Mary, I'm just gonna move your catheter over here to the side and I'm gonna be cleaning you up now, again, in your private area. Top to bottom, I'm going straight down. I'm gonna move that part over. Now, I'm gonna use my second part of the towel. Top to bottom. I'm gonna move that part of the towel over. I'm gonna use the third part top to bottom, all right? Fourth part, I'm gonna get one groin, top to bottom. And now I'm gonna get the back side, top to bottom, all right? Soapy towel goes over here. I'm going to rinse.
in the center, fold over, one side, come down, other side, come down, groin, come down, opposite groin, come down. All right, now I can dry. To, I'm gonna start with drying my catheter. I'm gonna again, put my hand here, hold at the meatus, dry the catheter. Okay. I'm going to pat dry around the vaginal area, making sure I get the groin. And now I'm through doing the catheter care. The patient is laying on the pad, so I need to remove the pad from up under the patient. Miss Mary, if you can raise your hips, I can get that pad from up under you. Great, good job. I'm going to bring your gown down, bring the bath blanket down, and bring your top sheet up under the bath blanket. Okay, now I'm going to remove the bath blanket. Miss Mary, here's your call light that you can use to call me if you need anything. Just put this in your hand here. Okay, you can call me if you need anything, all right? I'm going to open the curtain. And would you like the head of the bed up? Would you like the lights off or the, or the TV on? Anything I can get for you? You're good? All right, well, I'm gonna start putting these things up. These will go into the linen hamper. Okay, I'm gonna put my paper in the trash. I'll bring my soap over here. My water, I need to empty the basin, rinse the basin, and then dry the basin. So I'm gonna empty, rinse, pour out the rinse water, and dry the basin. I'm going to put the soap back into the basin and the basin will go into the patient's cabinet. I'm going to pick up my um, pr protector that I had for the table. That will also go into my laundry hamper. Before I take my gloves off, I want to look around to see if I forgot anything that I should be doing. Just take a minute. We don't have to rush doing the state exam. Patient has the call light. My table is clean. I put up all of my supplies, so I feel comfortable that I've done everything that I need to do. Sometimes I can just take a minute and go through the steps in my, in my head. Once I feel comfortable that I've completed the steps for catheter care, I'm going to take my gloves off. Put them in the trash. Immediately after I remove the gloves, I need to say I'm washing my hands. And remember, if the evaluator has told you that you can assimilate hand washing, you do not have to physically go and wash your hands. So I'm washing my hands. I will look at the evaluator and say I'm through with my skill. So I hope that this was very clear uh, demonstration for you. If you have any comments, please put them down below. If you like it, again, give me a thumbs up and please, please hit that subscribe button, okay, if you'd like to see more videos like this. My name is Dr. Lee. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.